Look, Hoodridge fam, at this point, I'm just trying to get rid of these goddamn hoodies. So when you purchase a hoodie, you will be receiving the Travel Hacking Off the Swipes ebook, the Shelf Corporation H Corp Secrets ebook, all three for $39.99. Y'all tap in, link under the description for the website. Come. What's good, Hoodridge fam, man? It's your boy Hoodridge Credit back at it again with another fucking banger, man. You feel me? Look, Hoodridge fam, today I got a very special video for y'all today. Actually, I'm dropping the sauce on this video. Normally, I do drop the sauce on YouTube, but the thing is, I don't drop the sauce sauce. So y'all in for a very special treat. And I was kind of contemplating about making this video because information can be burnt out. That's why a lot of credit gurus, they don't give y'all the full extent of the information. They tell y'all to pay for that shit. Not only because they want to make bread, but the thing is, they don't want that information to be burnt out. You get what I'm saying? So you have to pay for that type of information. But here and there, I'm going to give you all some sauce sauce. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about some shit, like I said, that I've been doubting of putting out on YouTube. But I guess you all in for a special treat. Once in a while, I'm going to be doing these type of videos where I give you all the sauce sauce. So let's get straight into it, man. Right off the bat, the credit game is changing. And I told y'all that videos ago, but it really is changing. These institutions are starting to move different, especially when you're trying to get approved for some funding. So what I want y'all to understand is most institutions, now they are switching over to documentation. They want to see your proof of income. They want to see the last three pay stubs on your business bank account or your personal account, right? It all depends what you're trying to go for. But these institutions are moving different. Most institutions out here that provide big bag funding, you get what I'm saying? Especially on the business side, for example, institutions like credit unions. Y'all know these credit unions, they most of them ask for proof of income. Good examples, First Tech. First Tech got some high limits, right? They got some 25K swipes. They got a credit card that goes up to 100K. Okay, so they have good limits or other institutions like Alliant. All these good institutions that offer some high limit funding, they ask for proof of income. And like I told y'all, majority of these institutions are switching over to that. These juicy ass institutions that offer you funding. And most of y'all are missing out on a big bag because of that, right? Because you guys don't want to provide your proof of income. So you guys switch over to the institutions that don't ask for proof of income. And yeah, that's fine, right? But when you provide proof of income, right? If you have that money to back up, back up your credit card application, that's where the big bag funding is at, okay? That's where you receive the 25K limits, 35K limits consistently, credit stacking. That's how you get the 200K plus in funding, okay? Y'all, I want y'all to understand that. So these institutions are switching up, okay? The credit game is changing. You have to provide proof of income, which I'm about to show y'all some sauce. I'm about to give y'all some sauce. Like I said, I was, I was kind of debating on putting this shit out there on YouTube because information does get burnt out like I told y'all. But the thing is, that's the point, right? These institutions that provide that big bag funding on the business side with 0% interest, 12, 12 months, 15 months, 18 months, 24 months, y'all get the point. Most of them ask for proof of income. And on this channel, I want y'all to adapt, okay? In the credit game, you have to adapt. For example, back then with AU trade lines, you add an AU trade line to your credit report back then, you, you ready for funding. You, you ready for that big bag funding, right? But these institutions changed up. The underwriters now look deeply into your credit profile and want to see primaries instead of these AUs, right? AUs don't really hold that much weight. Yeah, they will enhance your applications, but they don't hold weight like primary trade lines, right? So that's why y'all can do that zombie debt sauce the, for the people that know about that type of information. But that's not the point of the video. The video is these institutions are switching up. They want to see your documentation. So what a lot of people don't know, let's get straight into it. ADP, one of the biggest payrolls in the United States, right? ADP, the thing is with ADP, what a lot of people don't know, they partnered up with Plastic.com. And for the people that know about Plastic.com, they're a website that allows you to turn your credit into cash, right? So think about it. If you pull up with your credit card, right, with Plastic.com, right, and then pay yourself, right, under payroll in your business, right, in your business bank account, now with that credit card, that funding reports to your business bank account, now you got pay stubs to show on these credit card applications. This is how you get approved for this big bag funding, especially for certain products like business lines of credit. Y'all know how hard it is to get approved for business lines of credit, right? Business lines of credit, they want to see your proof of income. They want to see the last three pay stubs. They want to see all that type of information, right? So this is how you do it with ADP. 
Okay, you put yourself under payroll. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? At this point, you're creating your own pay stub. And I want y'all to understand because there be some police ass people under the comment section. This is all legal. This is not illegal. Okay, y'all, I want y'all to understand that this is completely legal. Understand. So since ADP partnered up with Plastic.com, you pull up with your credit card on Plastic.com, you're under payroll, under your business, under your personal, it all depends, right? Now, you pay yourself with your credit card, that reports to your business bank account as transactions, as business transactions, if you're using a business bank account, now you have pay stubs to show. Now, at this point, you're creating your own pay stubs on these credit card applications. This is how you get approved for those big bag business lines of credit. This is how you get approved for them high limit business credit cards. This is the game, y'all. And people are sleeping on this type of information. Don't try to avoid proof of income. You have to maneuver around these situations, y'all. You have to adapt to the credit game. So what else would I wanted to tell y'all? And I, I was kind of contemplating about saying this too, but this is how I get people apartments as well, right? When you're trying to go for apartments, they ask for the last three pay stubs. And most of these apartments, right? They ask for the last three pay stubs, right? So now you can create your own pay stubs with the plastic and ADP method, right? And another thing, people that are in the Airbnb game, this is how I help people get apartments on Airbnb, right? Because they have to provide the last three pay stubs. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? This is how people uh, supercharge their portfolios on Airbnb. And another thing that I want to tell y'all, my Hurtridge fam, is I want y'all to get to the point where y'all don't have to do these type of tricks, right? Y'all actually making <clears throat> some major business revenue to provide to these pay stubs, right? To provide to these institutions to get approved for these business lines of credit and these high limit business credit cards, right? Or these loans, whatever you're trying to go for, right? I want y'all to get to that point where y'all actually making major business revenue not having to you know worry about these institutions catching up to the game catching up to the sauce on the adp plastic method or all these other methods out there to create your own pay stubs or just in general the credit game shifting i want y'all to get to the point where y'all making that bag okay y'all so this is this is not really longevity purposes you understand what i'm saying build yourself to the point where you got that shit to provide you, you pull up, you got that business revenue to provide. They can't tell you none. You get what I'm saying? You don't have to maneuver. You don't have to find out the hacks. I want y'all to get to that point. So yeah, y'all, with this method, this is how you run it up with your friends, man. This is how you get three friends that are responsible, that know what they are talking about when it comes to business, right? You put them on game. Y'all run the same play, okay? You don't only have to do this shit alone. Get some of your friends, put them on game. Charge up their personal credit profile, right? Now they, at that point, they're creating their own pay stubs to get approved for these high limit business credit cards, get approved for these high limit business lines of credit, okay? And then y'all liquidate, right, with that business line of credit because it's already access to your business bank account. Y'all go turn up to the business bank account, right? Take out that cash and start running the playoff, Airbnb, Turo, whatever it is, trucking game. Y'all combine a certain amount of funding, right? Y'all get approved for 200K. Your homeboy got approved for 200K. You got approved for 200K, two, four, six. Y'all got 600K to invest. You get what I'm saying? This is the game for y'all that don't understand this shit. Y'all sleeping on this type of info. And hopefully y'all enjoyed the sauce that I put y'all on today. Like I said, I was kind of contemplating about putting this information online because this is information that I don't want it to be, how do I say, it, burnt out. I don't want this information to be burnt out because a lot of people, you know, they're going to take this information, they're going to publicize it, and it's all going to be just ruined. The sauce is it's not going to be the sauce no more, if you get what I'm saying. So this is the type of information that I charge. But here and there, like I told y'all, I will be dropping the sauce. I do drop sauce, but I don't drop the sauce sauce, if you get what I'm saying. But hopefully y'all enjoyed this, Hood Rich fam. Hopefully y'all understand what I was saying. If y'all got questions, tell me under the comment section. And yeah, man, y'all tap into my mentorship class for the people that have been asking for the mentorship class. Y'all hit me up, tap in right there for the people that have been interested in that zombie debt course that want to reassign backdated primary trade lines, backdated auto loan trade lines. Y'all tap into my website. And yeah, Hood Rich fam, y'all have a good day. The Hood Rich way, come on.